Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Owen Marvin. Today we're doing a video on my 20 gallon river themed aquarium. Uh, this is not what I normally do on my channel, but it's going to be very fun. Uh, so watch to see what my tank setup is like. Also, uh, subscribe for following my videos because they're good videos, in my opinion. Um, let's, let's jump right into it. So here is the tank. So you can see we've got a log there that's hollowed out. Fish can go in there. A plant there. Some tubing here, the fish go in, and then we got a flower pot right there with a plant coming out of it. All right, so we just got a new fish to go in the tank here. Burbot. It is an eel pout. That's so sick. He's definitely gonna eat our minnows. How big is his mouth? Let me see. Oh, he maybe. Oh good. my lord. That's so sick. He's I'll get so back to you. That was just the initial release into the tank. There's a good view of him. All right, we'll see, hopefully he doesn't die instantly, uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, we just came out to film, and uh, he was he was in this log eating Look how much eating the minnow. Up. I don't think he's stuck. I think he's got a minnow in his mouth. He's trying sure? to swallow. Maybe he is st stuck in there. I'm sure they're friends. Okay, they're okay. Okay. Oh god. Yeah. Is he eating them? I don't know. He doesn't have teeth, so. So my conclusion here is that I think he's trying to hide in there. I don't think he's they trying to eat friends. him. He looks happy under that plant. Oh, is he smiling or what? All right, so we rearranged the tank slightly right away. Uh, I switched the plants that would be in the flower pot. There's a minnow in there now. I think they like it a little bit better now that that plant's in there. It doesn't feel so open. I would move the tubes a little bit. The eel pout has claimed, excuse me, and Shaquille eel has claimed this log as his spot. He doesn't really fit in there, but he likes it, so that's where he's gonna be. Um, and he definitely ate a minnow. We saw a shape in his in his gut that looked like a minnow. And then we uh, counted the minnows. There are seven, there used to be eight. So hopefully he doesn't eat them all very fast. I kind of like the minnows. We were hoping that the minnows would breed uh, coming May, but that doesn't seem like it will happen because he'll probably eat them. So that's the initial setup. We'll keep you posted over what happens to Shaquille O'Eal, the eel pout. We have a little minnow trap which is how we catch our fish that we put in our aquarium. This is not easy to take up one-handed, actually. Looks like we have two mad toms. Oh, All right, really? so now we have our mad toms in here. Uh, there's one that's really tiny and one that's kind of tiny. Are they different or this? They look different, but maybe it's just because one's really fat. Should we go put them both in water and decide which one we want? We have fishies, Mary Kate. You see them? Ah, oh, dude. They are cute, the little catfish. There we go. Slide these dudes down into the cup. Wow, Woo! they're so yellow. So a little bit of information about these, they're called tadpole mad toms uh, because they look like tadpoles a little bit. Uh, maybe you can see that. Uh, they are catfish species. Uh, they live in like fresh water, obviously. And they're really tiny. So like their max length is probably like five inches. Uh, the one, one of these guys is a lot smaller than the other one. We had one last summer that we kept as a pet. And that one was probably five inches. Is it possible this one could be spawning? Yeah, I think that's what this is. Honestly, these two could be, the bigger one is a female. Well, I know, I noticed it, that the smaller the, one is the, a male. The one probably. has a red mark on his fin. Yeah, yeah. And I've they typically get that, bass I know get that on their tail. When they so spawn. like I'm thinking the smaller guy here with the red on his fins is the male and this one's probably a female. If we keep both of them, they could make babies. All right, like so these guys are going in the tank now. And then we'll give you a little bit of a tank tour after this, because this is cool. There they go. There they go. So one thing I'm kind of concerned about is having enough hiding places for everything in the tank, because all of these fish like to hide. You probably can't even see, but there's a burger. Yeah, so that big fish in the tube there is an eel pout. Oh, you need help with your life jacket? Yeah. I'll just quick pause to help her get this off. Okay, get some videos of these. She guys. locked us. Unlock it. Unlock it. She locked us out. Unlock it. Get back here. We're gonna get, make sure you get some good videos of this stuff. There's the other guy. Um, so right, there's actually a bunch of minnows in the tank too. And uh, yeah, hopefully this goes well. I was just about to leave, but then uh, one of the catfish swam into the left tube, and then <laughs> this other smaller one swimmed into the right tube, exactly where the eel pad is. And then there's one of the minnows. That's what the minnows look like. They're just little fish. They're all gonna get eaten. With big mess. Yeah, I noticed that, Nora. Was that you that dumped out all the fish food? Nora? No. 
<laughs> we're actually going to be releasing this guy because there were a school of about eight fathead minnows living in here. Now there are one or two fathead minnows living in here because the burbot keeps eating them. And also he's, uh, he's just going through way too much food and he's gonna get too big for the tank. Uh, so he's going back in the river. We've had him for about a week and it was kind of fun, uh, but his, his time is up. So we're gonna scoop him out and release him today. And we have one surprise new fish that's going in the tank towards the end of the video. So stay tuned. All right, so I have this net here. It's gonna be hard to get him. We're gonna lock him on this side, I think. Here we go. So there he is. He's a beautiful fish. It was really cool to see him, but it's time to let him go. So we're headed down to the river here. This is the Warroad River. There's a little goose over there. Uh, this is the Warroad River. It's connected to Lake of the Woods, northern Minnesota. Uh, river's really murky, really dark water. Good for fish like this that eat junk off the bottom and pretty much only go around at night. We caught him in our little minnow trap right there. Yeah, we're gonna let this dude go. Goodbye, my friend. And he'll grow up to be very big. Burbit actually get to be up to like three feet long and weigh, I don't know what they weigh, probably 10 to 15 pounds at their max. Uh, so that guy's, he's got a lot, a lot of years left in him. I really don't know how I'm going to get this tank cleaned because that burbot made such a mess in there. I think I'm gonna try to clean out the filter. I've got new cartridges in the mail, I think. Um, we're gonna do a, probably a 50% water change. All right, last gallon of water to refill the tank. We're gonna call that pretty good. Water's coming into the filter. And she's running again. Hopefully it clears up the water quick because this is uh, pretty gross, not gonna lie. Yeah, but here's a fresh filter cartridge and I'm gonna pop that guy right in here. <coughs> All right, I'm back after a couple hours and the water's looking much clearer than it was. Uh, we got the, the log there, all the fish are in there. Both, both catfish, all three minnows. I discovered that there are three minnows still alive. I thought there was only one or two, uh, so that's good. And now, we are going to introduce you to our newest member of the tank. This is him. It is a baby, baby rock bass, and he is so tiny. He's so cute. So we're gonna put him in the tank now. And there he is in. Uh, he is a baby, so I do have some concerns about him this? adapting to the new water. There he is, chilling on the log there. And the three minnows and the two catfish are inside, and yeah. Tank's looking really nice. Uh, check out my channel, there's all kinds of uh, vlogs and other types of things on there uh, that I would definitely recommend checking out. I think they're kind of good. Obviously, I might be a little bit biased, uh, but definitely check them out. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and hit the like button for this video. Uh, also, leave some comments, and I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully. Goodbye.